I'm a civil engineer. I work in Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge Project Management Office, and I am responsible for the reclamation project. I was working right now and looking after the high-speed rail, the express rail link project. As an electrical and mechanical engineer, I work in the three runway system projects, including the new automated people mover depot, the third runway concourse building, and the Terminal 2 expansion. Molly Kwan has worked on the Hong Kong Boundary Crossing Facilities Reclamation Project since 2012. In reclaiming the 150 hectares um, artificial island, we have encountered a lot of um, difficulties and challenges, including height restriction as because that we next to the airport island. We have to work closely with the contractor to help them to use the machineries that could fulfill to comply with the height restriction. Ms. Kwan joined the engineering industry in 1998 and has worked on more than 50 large and small scale projects. As small as building a washroom, or uh, the largest one could be a vehicle or bridge, but nothing could be compared to this 150 hectares artificial island. Upon completion of the bridge, the Western Pearl River Delta region will fall within a three-hour commuting radius of Hong Kong, which substantially reduces both the transportation cost and time. Goods from the Western Delta region can make better use of the airport and container port in Hong Kong, enhancing Hong Kong's position as a trade and logistics hub. The bridge will boost the economic development of Hong Kong, Macau and the Western Pearl River Delta region, benefiting the tourism, finance and commerce sectors. Ms. Kwan said becoming an engineer has brought her a great sense of achievement. Witnessing buildings and infrastructure being built from its sketch form to their real forms and also be used by our citizens and our next generation will bring about a real job satisfaction to me. This is my honor to work in this Hong Kong to Hai Macau Bridge project. This is always an engineer's wish to work on a mega-sized project. Another mammoth project is the Hong Kong section of the Express Rail Link, which is also underway. Mr. Sito has worked on this project since 2011. He is responsible for monitoring the progress of tunnel excavation. He inspects the emergency rescue siding and stabling sidings in Shek Kong regularly. The XRL project has been entrusted to the MPL for design and implementation. So one of my job's duty is to act as a liaison between the MPL and the relevant government departments. The 26-kilometer express rail link will run entirely in tunnels. Such kind of construction will be easily affected by difficult and complex grounds. We will discuss with MPR and urge them to undertake some mitigation measures, such as increase of resources and manpower, as well as, uh, say for example, uh, to purchase one or two tunnel boring machines. In the highways department for more than 20 years, Mr. Sito was mainly responsible for road and bridge projects before. Working on the express rail link has given him the opportunity to study railway engineering in the UK. Our railway system is a very complex project which uh, different uh, disciplines will act together to perform its duties. So the course really helped me to get some knowledge. The express rail link will connect with the National High Speed Railway Network, reducing travel times between Hong Kong and major mainland cities. The project will enhance economic connection between Hong Kong and the mainland, boosting development in the medium and longer term. Hong Kong's three mega infrastructure projects include the three runway system at the airport. It involves the reclamation of 650 hectares of land north of the airport, building a 3,800 metre long runway, plus 57 new parking positions, a passenger terminal, a new high-speed automated people mover system, and a new baggage handling system. The existing terminal tool will also expand. Since joining the airport authority in 2010, Giselle Yip has taken part in the midfield concourse project and she is now a member of the third runway project team. I am mainly responsible for the electrical, air conditioning and drainage system throughout the design and construction stages. I will use my experience gained from the midfield concourse project to enhance the construction management in terms of safety, quality, cost and time control. 
Ms Yip said large-scale infrastructure projects not only create economic benefits for the community, but also help the development of the engineering industry. Hong Kong's infrastructure projects are nurturing a group of excellent engineers. Because of these projects, many young engineers can accomplish their dreams. The airport authority forecasts the three-runway system will bring an economic boost of $455 billion. It will also consolidate Hong Kong's status as an international and regional aviation hub, create hundreds of thousands of jobs, and enhance economic development. The three engineers say they are proud to be a part of Hong Kong's three mega-infrastructure projects and look forward to building a better future for the city.